here is the PDF document that I have in my drive and I want to annotate it with my students. So I'm going to pull out my stylus from my pen and I'm, oh, this doesn't seem to be working. So I'm going to try another option. I'm going to go to here and I'm going to download it and I'm downloading it to my computer here. So I'm going to hit show on folder, then locate it in my recent files. That's the fastest way to find it. There it is there. So I'm going to click on it. You'll notice that the interface has now changed. I have a different bar at the top of my screen. You'll also notice I have an option for pen. So I've clicked pen and now I have different options at the top here where I can then go about picking different sizes and different colors and now annotating this PDF. So I can go about doing that and I can zoom in and I can pull, uh, use attention with a different pen color uh, to talk about these accessibility tools and uh, inclusion around um, different ways of knowing. But what's really neat here is as I zoom in and zoom out, you'll notice that my annotations stay exactly with the part of the PDF that I want them to stay with, that these annotations move with the relevant portions of the documentation. So this becomes really handy if I have a long document that I'm annotating and I need to scroll down the page, I can continue to annotate as necessary. So why does this matter? Well, you'll notice that when I hit download again, it will ask me whether I want to do it with my changes or without my changes. From this point, I can open the files and then I can also change the name of the file. So that's gonna be really handy if I need to differentiate it for different classes that I'm using it in, or I wanna differentiate it from my original, which I did not annotate. So you'll see here now that I have the original and that I also have the one that I annotated. So uh, one is labeled 2021 and the other one is there. So again, it's a, a really great tool to be able to uh, use PDFs on the Chromebook.